film fans of YouTube, hello and welcome back to the channel. My name is Josh, your movie apprentice, and today I am reviewing something that is quite late on in the day. But alas, it is my birthday, so I feel like I'm allowed to review whatever I want. I am, of course, reviewing, as you can see in the title, Bullet Train, directed by David Leach and starring Brad Pitt, Joey King, Brian Tree Henry, and Aaron Taylor Johnson. And this film is what I like to think of as this sort of new genre that I like to call style action. It seems that every single year at the minute, we are getting a stylistic action film that prioritizes style over substance and throws in a few colorful characters. From Free Fire in 2016, Atomic Blonde in 2017, Bad Times at the Air Royale in 2018, The Gentleman in 2020, and The Holiday Fall in 2021. 2019 is a bit of an outlier, but that year you still had films that were fun and action packed, like Ready or Not. So that could be included, but that was more of a horror movie. And this year, we have Bullet Train. And these films are always films that, that I do enjoy. The characters in this are what tends to really make these films. But going into what it's about, the agent Ladybug is given a task to go onto a train, take a briefcase, and walk off the train. But this Bullet Train just so happens to have a lot of of professionals as well and all the while there's a character called the white dragon that looms over the whole thing like a cloud this is a movie that had definitely had a unique premise to it it was like a less serious more fun energetic version of the commuter starring liam neeson and one thing i really enjoyed about this as i've said was the characters my favorite characters by far were that of tangerine and lemon play respectively by aaron taylor johnson and Brian Tyree Henry. These two have a great bit of chemistry between them. I love the gimmick that Lemon has where he compares people to characters from Thomas the Tang Engine. It's a stupid little gimmick, yet somehow works through the charisma and delivery of Brian Tyree Henry. And the shock I had getting into the credits where the guy playing Tangerine was Kickass, that was a mind blow. That is the best I have seen Aaron Taylor Johnson in quite some time. Brad Pitt plays our lead, and at times he is fun, but at times his character is a bit too dense and a bit too stupid for his own good. But I like the idea that he is an agent that is trying to avoid having people die on his missions, and he is just trying to talk it out, have a glass of water, have a conversation. I really enjoyed those elements, and some of these fight scenes were very comedic. A highlight for me had to be involved in the quiet car that was seen in the trailer. Very well done. The way they use the space and the running gags in this train is expertly crafted. I think one of my own disappointments was that the conductor that Ladybug is having issues with for the first half of the movie just kind of vanishes and doesn't have an overriding part of the narrative following him. Oh, I love the little twist if the conductor was somehow the hornet. That would have been absolutely fantastic. But alas, we got the other obvious red herring that was that identity. I love how it plays out just bit by bit. No matter how much our ladybug tries to just get off the train, every station there is always something that shows up that just prevents him from moving on with his mission. Now, I do have some flaws with the movie. I felt like the character of Prince, their dynamic was quite weak compared to some of the others. And their motivation, they seem to be kept alive for a lot of the film, purely for reveal towards the end of the movie. And admittedly, I did not see it coming. But it was a case of we had this really expert pin drop moment that is subsequently ruined for the sake of getting us to this end reveal and that I found quite disappointing. I do love the bigger role that some characters that are seemingly just background throwaway characters at the beginning actually play in the later half of the movie. I must say Hiroyuki Sanada is brilliant in his role. He does a very good job with what he has given. But outside of the action scenes and the character dynamics which I will can gush about onwards and onwards it can get a bit repetitive at times and for me the film could have ended a good 20 minutes earlier felt like we had this extended sequence 
towards the end just to stretch out the runtime. And that is something that dragged it down for me. I thought there was a point where the film could have ended, but alas, it did not. And there are a few plot contrivances as well. There is literally a whole death that could have been avoided if the person that died just put a bullet between someone's eyes. There was no reason why they didn't do that, aside from plot convenience. And that seems to be a running theme in these very stylistic action films. You have to really suspend your disbelief. Like, how can a guy hold onto the back of a speeding train is beyond me. And the way they just don't use common sense when it comes to finishing off characters and how a lot of misunderstandings end up causing more death and more harm than good. That was a weak element for me, but the thing that really made this film carry for me was, as I've previously said, it was the characters and the way they just bounced off each other. I could watch the stressful Aaron Taylor Johnson freaking out about what's going to happen to him and Lemon once they get off the train to this very chill Brad Pitt. He was just wanting to chill out, have a good time, and just say, let's not fight. That was a great little element. And this film does almost make me want to go back and watch Green Street again because there's a heavy use of the West Ham theme in this. And it actually gives us quite an emotional beat that I did not expect to find in this, especially what's originally seen as just two goons that our lead protagonist has to take down. I like how the film took time to give these characters a bit more depth and a bit more dynamic. But that being said, overall for me, Bullet Train, like with all these other stylistic action films, they are fun. They are mainly style over substance, but they are really carried by some very good action sequences and some really good dynamics between characters. The script is by far the strong suit of this, and the use of the setting of the bullet train was really well done. But you could have shaved 20 minutes of this movie very easy, and the way that things seem to happen just for the plot's sake as opposed to legitimately making sense, that's also going to drag the film down for me a bit especially as they did actually manage to give some emotional beats and character depth to certain characters, it is disappointing that the film couldn't quite stick the landing when we got to that final third. So overall for me, I'm going to have to say that Bullet Train is a tea that needs more sugar. So Bullet Train, have you seen it? If you have, let me know what you thought down in the comments below. If you like what you're seeing on the channel, drop that like button, hit the subscribe, help this video get out to a lot more people. Coming up on the channel, I'm planning to do something quite new to the channel, hopefully tomorrow, but it might come out at the end of the weekend, depending on my work schedule. And there's a whole lot of films coming out over the weekend, including Orphan First Kill. So stay tuned for that. But until next time, my name is Josh. I have been Movie Apprentice. And I'll see you all in the next video.